Okay, so in the second video, we're going to focus on how to use subject headings or subject terms. They're one and the same, um, but how to use them to do a more refined, specific search. So you saw with our keyword searching that depending on the Boolean operator we used, um, our results changed quite a bit. And just to do a really quick review, that's because keywords are pretty nonspecific in the way that the search works. So if we're searching for global warming, what the database is doing is looking for global warming in the title of a book, global, uh, global warming in the description of the book, global warming in the cataloging record, um, the author field, basically any of these fields that you can search, the database or the catalog is looking for global warming to show up in any of them. So you might get a lot of results, but they're going to be sort of a mixed bag in terms of how useful they are to you. Subject headings are much more specific because when you do a subject heading search, you're looking in just one field. And so if we um, look at the book we looked at in the last video, so Global Warming, Myth, or Reality, and if I click on that title, you'll see what I mean when I talk about the subject heading or the subject term field. If we look at this record, this is called the catalog record, um, there is a field that's called subject terms. And every subject term that's been assigned to this particular material is going to be listed here. So this book has just three subject terms, and they're global warming, global temperature changes, and greenhouse effect, comma, atmospheric. All right, so remember that the function of these subject terms is to describe the content of the book or the article or the movie, whatever it is that you're looking at. So the librarian who assigned these subject headings thought that these three were the right ones to describe what this book is about. Um, the way that you want to use a subject term or a subject heading in a search is to, uh, well, you can do one of two things. You can know going into your search what subject headings you want to use if you've looked them up, and you can just type them right into the search box here, choose subject terms, and then click search. Or if you find a material that you really like and is good for your research, you can look at what subject terms have been assigned to it and search on one of those to find other materials that are similar. So let's say, for instance, that this book has been really helpful in my research and I want to find others on that topic. I might say, well, global temperature changes is pretty specific to what I'm searching for. So all you have to do is copy that. And then go up to your search, and I'm going to clear out my previous search, and then I'm going to paste in, oh, that's not what I wanted. I'll just type it in. I'll type in global temperature changes. And then in the select a field dropdown, I'm going to say search only the subject term field. And then I'll click on the search button. So remember that in our previous keyword search, we had about 988,000 results back on the search global warming or climate change. Now we have just over 44,000, so it's much smaller, much more specific. The way that you know that this search has worked, that you've done it correctly, is your subject term is going to be highlighted. So here it is, global temperature changes. Global temperature changes, you can see it in every, every record that shows up, okay? So you can always do a search for more than one subject heading at a time. So let's just click on this journal article. And we'll look at what other subjects it has assigned. And one of them is atmospheric temperature. So we can go back up to our search box and type that in. And again, in the drop-down, say that this is a subject term. And we're going to use the Boolean operator, and. So we want both of these concepts together. I'll click Search. And this is pretty specific, so we'll see what we get back. OK, so just under 5,000. So now we have 5,000 journal articles, books, movies, whatever materials the library owns. Um, that have been assigned both of these subject headings.
All right, and you can keep doing this. You can keep adding subject headings. You can combine subject headings with keywords. Any kind of search that you find works well for you, you can probably do in the library catalog until you get to a set of results that is pretty close to what you are looking for.